Welcome back into the Osmo YouTube channel, guys. My name is Jeff Ulrich, bringing you some Sunday, January 9th NBA action for Jock Market. And if you haven't heard, Jock Market has turned fantasy sports into a stock exchange. Forget waiting until the end of the game to make money. Jock Market allows you to buy and sell shares of players in real time for real money with guaranteed payouts for all of those shares at the end of the night. They have daily markets in NBA, MLB, NHL, and PGA, and NFL. And you can make real money every hour, every minute, every second of any match or game. You use the pregame IPO to pick up shares of your favorite players, and you buy, sell, or hold them, all based on your own analysis. Download the app to get started. Use our exclusive Osmo promo code Osmo for up to a $50 bonus on your first deposit. This is an exclusive offer only for the Osmo community. So make sure to take advantage of it today. That's Osmo for a $50 bonus. Now let's get to these NBA picks. We got a big, long Sunday slate here. And the first player, the first team I want to go to is the Toronto Raptors. The first player I want to go to, Pascal Siakam. This guy's been heating up of late. There has been a stretch where Pascal Siakam was not very reliable for fantasy, but he's back to being his old self. I do think we can trust Siakam, and he's got two top five finishes on jock market over his last four games. That's really what we're chasing on these jock market uh, players. We want those top upside finishes, going for those 100% ROI returns. Siakam has double doubles now in three of his last five games. He's got over five assists in each of his last five games as well. And when Pia Siakam is really producing across all levels, the assists, the blocks, the rebounds. That's really when he becomes an effective fantasy player. He's got a good speed advantage here over Jonas Valanciunas. New Orleans Pelicans, 21st in points allowed. And they also, Toronto, with a 115-point implied team total here at minus seven favorites. They've got a big implied team total. It's a good spot to deploy Siak. I mean, he should be out there for most of the game. Like I said, I don't mind the match, but all it's a good spot to target him. And he's been producing those elite games on Jock Market more of like go with Pascal Siakam for our first pick here. Second pick, let's go to the Sacramento Kings. And I like De'Aaron Fox tonight. Now, just a, a note, he is questionable with the shoulder thing, but I, you know, it's a good match. But we'll talk about more what could what you could possibly do if Fox does sit. But Fox coming in. Playing very well, too. He's got over 40 fantasy points in four straight games. He's got really good positive ROI returns on Jock Market over those last four games as well. He's averaged 28.5 points, 5.8 assists, and 4.5 rebounds over those last four games as well. He's playing well over 36 minutes. So if he is out there, you know we're going to get some volume from De'Aaron Fox, too. And this is a terrific matchup. And this is the main reason why I want to target Fox here. The Blazers are terrible. They're bottom five teams in terms of points allowed and assists allowed, which is great for a guard like Fox, obviously. Now, if he doesn't play, I would really recommend looking at Tyrese Halliburton here. He's going to see a big usage bump, and he's proven to us he can crush in these spots as well. So Halliburton would be the player to switch to if Darren Fox doesn't go, but do try and get a piece of Fox if he's out there because, again, it's not a COVID thing. As of now, it's just a shoulder thing. Last pick for this video. Let's go with Kyle Kuzma here. He's got six double doubles now in the Washington Wizards' last eight contests. So, yes, Kyle Kuzma has turned into this guy we can actually trust as well. He's returned positive ROI in four of the last five games on jock market. So, again, one of these other producers, he just produces across the board, really, really racking up the rebounds here as well. And he's got a great matchup against the Orlando Magic. They're a bottom 10 team in terms of points allowed, rebounds allowed, and assists allowed. And like I said, Kuzma racking up the assists and the rebounds on a nightly basis at this point. Washington minus 6.5 phase here, and they have a nice implied team total. It's averaging over 40 minutes is Kyle Kuzma over his last four games. And if he ever gets hot from three-point land again, because he's 0 for 12, I believe, from his last uh, last three, 12 shots from three-point land, he could definitely break a slate here. And he's been doing really well on jock market, even with just being terrible from the three-point range. So Kyle Kuzma, going to be my last pick here. Let's recap quickly, guys. Again, we got Pascal Siakam of the Toronto Rappers. We got Darren Fox of the Sacramento Kings. We got Kyle Kuzma there of the Washington Wizards. Those are going to be our three picks here for this Sunday on Jock Market. Make sure you smash the like button. Subscribe to the Osmo YouTube channel if you haven't already. And most importantly, have yourselves a great Sunday filled with NBA games. I'm Jeff Ulrich, and we'll talk to you soon.